Hello guys and welcome here to the Phoenix International Raceway. We have knockout qualifying for you. Not much has changed in the past week in the top 33. The only difference is the 88 has moved in, the 33 is out. So the 33 must now qualify on time once again. As the 96 at Caleb Parker is the first one to go out. And they've had some bad luck, they want to turn it around. Dylan Young is on his way out. He missed the last race. He wants to make this one for sure. And then Jack Porkins also on his way out. <clears throat> he made his first race last race. He would like to get a streak going here and hopefully get some points. Jonathan Rain's on his way out. There's Caleb Parker. We'll see. They got five minutes to turn their fastest lap here at the Phoenix International raceway you'll see Caleb Parker coming out of turn four twenty seven point nine three eight I don't know if that'll keep him up top let's take a look at all the guys yet to go out in this session you gotta wonder if they're waiting till later in the session to go out and there's Richard Kinghart he is yet, he is the only driver in the garage area yet to make a race this season. A new paint scheme this week, and they would sure love to make the field and end this terrible skid that they've been on. And I don't know if it's going to be this race. They're fourth quick right now out of five, and that is not good. Now make that fifth. They are the slowest. Dylan Young goes to the top of the boards. Patrick Smith also just turned his first lap in. Third quick, and they sure want to keep this going. But there are still a lot of cars that have yet to turn laps. You see uh, Zach Fitzwater Sr. and Brad Fusion have had headed out on track. So is Tyson Aquino. Brad Fusion's on the bubble right now. And Jack Porkins moves to the top of the board. And there's Richard Kinghart right there. He's fourth quick. He's got to sit there for two more minutes, or a minute and a half longer. He just turned another quick lap. Right now the bubble is the number 96. That is Caleb Parker. Ethan Lynn is trying to screech in. He's got a few hundreds to pick up in order to get that transfer spot. Oh boy, and Richard Kinghart now to the bubble. There's a ton of these guys have just moved up the charts, and now Richard Kinghart has been bumped. And this is bad news for the number 95 team. <laughs> they, they've yet to make a race this season. Desperately trying to make the field here at Phoenix. And they may have two more laps to try and do it. They move, they improve their lap time, but it's not enough to get them in the field. And they know it's time to move it. And the problem is with Dylan Young alongside of them, it's not helping either of their causes right now. Yeah, neither one of their causes are being helped whatsoever by running side by side. And they're going to get one more lap. Nope, this is going to be it. 
Richard Kinghart again is going to miss the field. Dylan Young is going to miss it too. DJ Curtis will transfer in. There was such thing as... If there was no such... Er, I'm sorry. Anyway, I, I don't know what I was trying to say. But anyway, here we go. Uh, DJ Curtis, Jack Porkins, Jonathan Raines, James Qualls, Brad Fusion, Zachary Fitzwater Sr., and Ethan Lynn all transfer into the field. TJ Hanley, Patrick Smith, for the third straight race, will miss out. So will Dylan Young, Landon Martin, Tyson Aquino, Zach Buchanan, Caleb Parker, and Richard Kinghart. They all miss the field, and Richard Kinghart again. Fifth straight race he's missed this season, and that's only going to hurt them even more. And same for the 65 team, Landon Martin. They, they can't make it either. A lot of guys missing races once again. Jack Porkins makes his second this season. Um, Zach Bitswater makes the field after missing it last week. And then Ethan Lynn's back in as well in the Hunt Brothers Chevrolet. Anyway, we will see you for the race in just an hour. Goodbye, everyone.